in the seventh universe. After Jiren finally used his most innovative technique, the atmosphere between the two strongest warriors in their respective universes was beginning to grow more and more. It was possible to feel the planet shaking with the power of both warriors Jiren using his wild ultra instinct versus Goku and his ultra instinct. In the face of Goku and Jiren, they both decided to approach quickly and when they collided, a huge wave of energy collided. Goku continued to dodge Jiren's attacks with great difficulty, while Jiren seemed not to be landing any blows until now. And Goku was confused because Jiren didn't seem to be fighting back, but Goku still ignored this detail and continued with a big kick to Jiren's face who just stayed still guys before continuing this epic story i left your like to help the channel and of course if you can i also left a super thank you and help the channel financially and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news now let's go back to the video jiren said hmm i see that's your limit right now that i'm stronger your technique doesn't seem as incredible to me as it did that time we faced each other in the tournament of power son goku jiren said opening a smile on his face and then grabbing the Saiyan's leg and throwing him away. Goku said, Wow, you really became absurdly strong Jiren, I didn't expect you to become this strong. In that case, I will have to use everything I have so I can beat you. Come on Jiren, come with everything, said Goku, who was heading towards Jiren with a challenging smile. Jiren was standing still but it was possible to see a small smile on his face and to continue the fight, Jiren also went towards Goku and both clashed their fists which were accompanied by several extremely fast punches. But there was still one strange thing that Goku I was noticing. No matter how many times he hit Jiren, it seemed like Jiren didn't feel any kind of pain. Both were clashing repeatedly with various punches, kicks and elbows until they separated at a certain not very long distance. Jiren said, Son Goku, what are you doing? I hope you're not fighting seriously, because if you are, I'll have to tell you that this fight is already over. Unfortunately, your Ultra Instinct that is so acclaimed by the Angels and Gods of Destruction cannot oppose my Wild Ultra. It's definitely an honor to be fighting you again, but I'm afraid our fight will soon end," said Jiren, who showed a look of arrogance. Goku smiling said, nothing like that. I haven't used my maximum power yet. Saiyans have a habit of adapting during the fight. Don't forget that. Come on, Jiren, don't hold back any longer. This battle will only become more fun when we use our powers to the fullest. Now, I will use all my power. Get ready, Jiren, said Goku, who raised his arms a little to increase his energy more and more. It was possible to feel Goku's power growing and increasing his capabilities more and more. The planet shook with such pressure coming from the Saiyan. And finally, the real fight would begin. Goku was going with everything he had. Jiren said, great, that's how I like it. Don't disappoint me, son Goku, may come. I'm waiting for you. Jiren spoke with animation. Goku teleported behind Jiren in an instant to punch him in the back. However, Jiren surprises him by grabbing his fist even though his back is turned. Jiren responds to Goku's attack by using his left leg to kick the Saiyan's knee who ends up feeling immense pain from the blow he received. Goku, even though he was a little injured, could still continue with his beloved fight and to continue it, he grabbed Jiren's neck with both of his legs and tried to throw him underground. But in vain, Jiren managed to hold Goku back. With a lot of force with the intention of throwing Goku himself to the ground. But Goku is faster and manages to use his teleportation to escape. Goku thought, damn my attacks and even my defense are not being effective against him. Isn't it possible that he really managed to find a way to face my ultra instinct? This new power of Jiren called ultra wildness is incredible. I'm feeling the excitement in my body increasing my desire to fight more and more. Jiren is definitely a formidable opponent, Goku said smiling at Jiren. Jiren, who didn't want to waste time, teleports to where Goku was and strikes him in the face. Goku ends up suffering the impact of the blow, but still manages to move away a little, and then tries to throw a punch at Jiren, who is defended by him. But soon after, Goku releases a powerful blast of energy at Jiren to distract him. And with the immense smoke created, Goku took advantage of the chance and struck Jiren with both his legs, intending to gain momentum so that his attack would be more powerful. Jiren was smiling, because despite Goku being at a tremendous disadvantage, he still persisted in the fight by making strategies to win, which was something formidable and admirable on Jiren's part. 
From this, Jiren decides to go on the offensive and hits Goku heavily. Goku felt Jiren's blows getting stronger and stronger as Goku was punched. Goku felt his body was slowly falling apart, but still the scion I couldn't give up. Goku uses his telekinesis to levitate Jiren to deliver a powerful Kamehameha, but his attempt is broken because Jiren feels absolutely nothing. Goku thought, what? How can you? I threw that Kamehameha with all my strength and it still had no effect? Damn, I don't want to admit it, but I'm at a disadvantage. If I continue like this, I won't be able to keep my Ultra Instinct activated and my body will collapse with fatigue and effort. I need to end this fight as quickly as possible. Goku thought, preparing 10 gigantic energy blasts in front of him. Jiren said, Son Goku, let's go. What are you waiting for? I will defeat you and then you will realize how far the distance between our powers is. Goku released his energy spheres at Jiren to distract him, and soon after Goku concentrated a large amount of energy in his punch to cause significant damage to Jiren, but it was all in vain. Jiren was there, completely still, and without any reaction to the attack. Jiren just contemplating the effort that Goku continued to make even though he was clearly inferior to Jiren. Goku was perplexed because nothing was working, his strategies, techniques, body combat, it was as if Jiren was definitely a warrior created to counter everything Goku knows in battle, and that was how it was at that moment. Goku said, It seems like everything I try to do doesn't have any effect on you, Jiren. No matter how much I try, nothing works. Seriously, I would never expect you to get this strong. You're a monster, Jiren, and that's why I'm going to keep fighting, Goku said excitedly, positioning himself in his combat pose. And although he was very injured and was suffering from Jiren's previous attacks, he wanted to continue. Goku then decides to use his giant energy armor from his Ultra Instinct to try to cause more damage. However, his attempt is completely broken and annihilated by Jiren who throws powerful punches that make Goku's giant armor shatter and Goku is left panting on the ground. Goku said, I'm really in trouble, my strength is running out and I can no longer resist. No matter what I do, Jiren has become someone frighteningly strong. Even though he is panting, Goku tries his last attempt to defeat Jiren by creating a barrier around both of them. And soon after, Goku executes several blasts of energy within that barrier with the intention of ricocheting the attack and hitting Jiren, Goku uses his teleportation and takes Jiren in the center of the barrier so that he could receive his attack. Jiren receives the attack in full, and Goku, who was hopeful that something would happen, is surprised by the huge shock of reality on his face. Jiren again had not suffered any type of damage. This was the true power of the Wild Ultra. He was intact, unshakable, as if nothing could defeat him. Goku soon undoes the barrier as he realizes that his techniques would definitely have no effect. Jiren said, oh, so that was it. With the new form I acquired, I expected a longer battle, but apparently my power is something surreal even for you, Son Goku. Despite your countless attempts to defeat me in this battle, you deserve my respect because you developed your strategies to try to defeat me again, although they were all in vine. Well, this fight ends here. Jiren spoke with a tone of determination in his voice. Goku, despite being at his last strength, tries to perform his last resort, the Genkidama on a small scale using only the energy of the living beings that were around that place. Then after forming this small Genkidama, he uses only his left arm to perform this attack. Goku said, everyone lend me your energy. I need it, but I promise it won't be much. Please, it was possible to see sparks of energy coming towards him and joining his arm, and without further ado, Goku goes at full speed to deliver his last blow that manages to push Jiren away a little, but even so, Goku had only done a small scratch. And then Goku falls to the ground, completely defeated by the one he had once defeated. Jiren said, Finally, this is over and it proves that I am the most powerful warrior. Thank you, Goku, for giving me an epic fight again. But there can only be one winner, and that is me said Jiren, looking at the whole situation, just withdrawing, being proud of his opponent's effort. So guys, here ends the story between Son Goku and Jiren. Did you like it? I hope so. Leave your opinion in the comments about what you thought of this video and what you thought of this rematch between Jiren and Goku. Did you like the ending? Anyway, don't forget to leave a like and of course, if you can leave a super thanks, it will be extremely epic. And also, if you are new, subscribe to the channel to help the channel and show YouTube the strength that this channel has. Activate the notification bell to always stay up to date with new videos and content on the channel. So that's it guys, until next time.